<laughs> hey, Shuffle fans, I'm Ashley Albert. I'm Jonathan Schnapp. And we are here at the Royal Palm Shuffleboard Club in Brooklyn, and it all comes down to this. We've reached the finals of the Brooklyn Shuffle Insanity 2020 Winter Playoff Championship. Um, who we got playing tonight? We have the SPF 45s and the Biscuiteers, two teams who have clawed their way here through 32 other teams. That's true. Who all had their eye on the prize, and in the end, it's these two to the finals. I'm here with Damien from the SPF 45s. How are you feeling tonight, Damien? I'm oh, feeling great. Uh, feeling very confident, um, hey, but uh, but we're humble. You know, we're uh, we're ready to play. Now, this will be the fourth time that you've made it to the finals. One time you've won. What's going to make this your two feet? Uh, we're going to take it one shot at a time. Um, we, uh, we, we've uh, studied our, uh, our Von Schuller. We've studied our uh, Carl Swim. And, uh, <laughs> you know, that's what we've been. We couldn't practice as much during lockdown, um, but we, we can study. So. Wow, that's 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 um, good to know. That's a good strategy to have strategy. <laughs> um, how easy do you think it's going to be to beat the Biscuiteers versus beating my fantasy football team, the Pancakes? <laughs> um, <laughs> so, well, your fantasy football team is is formidable, but um, but I, I and, and and I have respect for that team. <laughs> But you know, I uh, I really have a lot of respect for for the the Biscuiteers. Um, back in the old days, they were they were the ones you would see practicing. They would be there when you got there, and they would still be there when you left. So this is a team that that knows their shuffleboard. So we'll uh, we, we have a we have a big task. Ahead of us. Do, does the SPF 45 so they have a theme song? I think it's a I think it's an immigrant song by Led Zeppelin. You know, like. Ah! Right. <laughs> Anything to say to your fans before this very last Shuffle Insanity tournament for the ages, 2020. This is going to be the big sign-off. Anything you want to say to the people out there? Oh boy, we 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 love you so much, Ashley and and Jonathan, and uh, we've been just so honored to be a part of this thing. So, uh, so it's it's a it's a big thank you to the Royal Palms and to and to you guys. And we are so so grateful to have you a part of this, and we are rooting for you out there. Great luck. Thanks, Ash. Okay, I am here with Bob. You are my final pregame interview of the Shuffle Insanity 2020 tournament. How are you feeling? I feel amazing. Yeah, this is is this the farthest that the Biscuiteers have ever gotten in a Royal Palms tournament? We made it to the this exact position one time before. Yes. So yes, it's the farthest. And how do you think that you're going to adjust your play today for a different outcome? Well, we're the same team. We're a different team. You know, we've grown a lot. We've. I was just looking. We started in 2015 as the Biscuiteers, and we're largely the same makeup. Uh, and we just have been learning and growing and having fun and coming all the time. I mean, we, we, we love shuffleboard, basically. <laughs> I love that. Well, so if there were three words that you could use to describe the Biscuiteers, what would those three words be? Uh, great people. Uh, it's two words. Uh, cats is one, yeah. uh, I hope. Uh, good chemistry. And, uh, and, and love to win. Well, I hope that you will feel that love to win out there on the course tonight. Great luck, we're rooting for you. Thank you very much, looking forward to it. Hey guys, welcome to the final round. We have the Biscuiteers shooting yellow. We have the SPF 45 shooting black. Good luck to both sides. Good luck. <laughs> hey. Good luck and good luck. Good luck and good luck. From Nibs to you. Dewan Nibs, a, uh, um, a fantastic part of the Royal Palms family. I don't know what else to say. A fitting judge to, uh, to, to, to call, the, yeah, to, to call the, the championship. Okay, we have Bob playing for the Biscuiteers and Bardo playing for the SPF 45s. And you know, here we are, Bob's first shot is, is a little bit too far over, a little bit too much of a tampa, and Bardo's gonna take it. 
and he's going to score it. Wow. Wow. It's, really, it's a ballsy really shot. Really nice. And, and Bardo comes straight out of the gate saying, you're going to make a mistake. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to. Wow, he'll love that from Bardo. Yeah. Particularly because Bardo's had some bad situations in the past where he's put himself in the kitchen on the mm-hmm. first shot or mm-hmm. the first frame of the game. You not going to leave anything and, to chance. And, and uh, this time... He, uh, oh. he he takes the chance and he and he he hits the seven and jumps right on top of Bob in the very first shot of the game. And Bardo's got the hammer, so he's gonna just try to blast out. Oh no! I don't think Not so because that's blocked, right? Oh. You don't wanna. You I, don't. Oh, I thought he was gonna blast out that middle that middle eight from. Uh, well, I, I think the idea was to block it rather than blast it. I didn't think he had a good shot at, at blasting because he would risk knocking Docking out at himself. seven. I yeah, see. exactly. So huh. Bob's going to have a shot at a split here. Mm. Mm. Get, unfortunately, gets rid of it and gets rid of the, the block instead. Almost got the split. Um, and Barra's, I think, going to try to put up a better block this time. He does it. Yeah. Uh, you wonder if Bob can get through I there, though. Is Bob going to go up the other side? No, I think he's going to try to go right through. I could be wrong, but I think that he can. Really? Hmm. He'd come from the other side if I was. He is going from the other side. Ooh, nice. Wow. Nice bump. Beautiful bump. Hmm. Really yeah. beautiful bump. Yeah. The, uh, the crowd likes it, too. Yeah. I mean, and not a lot of places for Bardo to go now. I mean, now if you're Bardo, I think you try to score back down your side again. Mm-hmm. That's where he's going to wind risky. up going. You risk missing yourself. You miss bump, risk bumping into him. It's not not just free and clear here. Got to go easy, easy, easy. Came up short. No, came up short. Yeah. And mm. cre- credit Bob. I, mean, I think there were two really great shots that frame. Yeah. And one of them was Bartos' very first, where he was able mm-hmm. to put that thing in the seven. And the other one was Bob's really, cross, really nice bump. Cross court bump that was just beautiful. Yeah. And and uh, yeah, the speed was beautiful on it too. Mm-hmm. Right. It was the direction yeah, it was and exactly the speed. Exactly perfect. Mm. So Impressive. well executed. All right. Well, we're we're going to the foot here, and uh, Damien will be at up first. Um, for the SBS, and he's playing against Paul um, for the Biscuiteers. Like a little deeper than he meant, but it's not a bad shot. You know, sometimes those deep St. Pete's can turn into really, really nice bump opportunities, and I think that's what we've seen here. So I think mm-hmm. Paul's going to try to get rid of it. Mm-hmm. And, and yep. he does so. And I mean, both of these teams are sweet as pie like truly the most delightful teams that have made it this far. For such a bloodthirsty game, they really are just delightful. The whole Sh- lot of them. Shuffleboard is bloodthirsty, huh? I think it can be. <clears throat> Compared to MMA? <laughs> Compared to ping pong. Oh. Do you think ping pong is less bloodthirsty than shuffleboard? I do. Hmm. I think you really drop the gauntlet. Ping pong's too frenetic to be bloodthirsty. Okay. Well, here's a uh, <laughs> okay. here's here's a uh, an interesting disc, mm-hmm. right? That one really does do it for both players. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Damien's gonna take it. Or I mean, he's if he's try. got, he's gonna try, and he's it looks yeah. like he's got it. Really nice. You know? and, and that's the thing. It's like if somebody puts it up there, you take it. Yeah. Right. Because if you don't take it, what, what do you? What do you? Yeah, you know, the other guy is gonna. Mm-hmm. It's the thing. If you're Paul here. You don't have to worry about knocking him out. You just got to worry about scoring it yourself. And you can use that same disc. Oh, see, I'm surprised he's oh. going for the one here instead. Maybe he thinks he can get outside of that disc and knock out the eight. Is that what he's doing? Yeah. Oh, he's um, looking up. Oh, no. Well, he unblocked it a little bit. I think Damien's just going to block it up again. I think that's the right move. You put up a Tampa here, and, and you're pretty much good to go. Mm-hmm. That works. Yep. yep. And you force Paul just to shoot to the other side because there's no there's no shot there for him. Yeah. You know. Hope he can just even it up. Yep. That's his best. That's his best chance right now. Yep. But very nicely puts pressure on um, Paul's hammer. Paul looks like he's still looking to make some magic happen on the other side. Oh, okay. No. Good. Mm, gets got the, there, got the seven. Gets the seven. I think he got it. Yep. Yes. Two. Okay. So he goes down by one point. You know, it's it's 
uh, you know, thus far, what we're seeing is some really, really nice shot making. Yeah. You know, really and, and all four players have made clutch shots, mm-hmm. you know, and, and for, for Bardo, it was that initial um, hide behind the Tampa. For Bob, it was the beautiful bump. Mm-hmm. For Damien, it was also another hide on the Tampa, mm-hmm. right? And Paul hitting his hammer. Yeah. Um, all four players are honed in here. I mean, there's no mistake. They haven't gotten here by accident. Mm. They've earned their place in this finals game. And you wonder if, 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 if Bob is interested in playing some kitchen here. A little yeah. hard for the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, and sticks. Well, a six out of ten. It's never a bad thing I to mean, be in the ten. Sure, I mean, but Bardo's that's not this totally early true. on. That's, that's, and Bardo certainly could play a kitchen game, which seems like he's a little more likely to do here. Oh, and there it is. Oh, and he does it. Did oh. he get it? It's close. Oh. Wow, it's in the wow. kitchen. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that that ten to kitchen shot is such it's a, a powerful killer. shot. You know, it's it doesn't go in all the time, but it's like it's when it delicious does, when it's it a does. twenty point gain. Yeah. Gain. It's huge. Nice okay. shot by Bob. And now but he can, left the ten open, and now now can Bardo, Bardo can hide can, it. Can he can he block the ten? And we've talked about this before. How it's hard a that hard is. Shot to block. I think he, he got it. it. Yeah, he did it. That's pretty great. And now, yeah. if you're Bob, use the tap and don't worry about it. You mm. know, so like like really, you, you think you yeah you yeah think don't hide. don't yeah like you, mm-hmm. you put up an eight here. You're only down two points in the yeah. frame so far. You still have your hammer. It's a great point. That's the other problem with blocking the ten. No, mm. so that, that, that I have to say I think that's a mistake. Instead, mm. you, if you shoot down your just side, do it a second time here. You can. A little hard. A little hard. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. And gives and, him a chance, mm. but not to stick. Yeah, there's no stick there, but so. it's a really interesting disc. You can only see about half of it. He's gonna try to go for it. No. Oh. Wow doesn't yep. get there. Mm. And, and if you think about like, you know, where we are here and, and how Bob could have played that differently, You're right. right? With the with the high down to his mm-hmm. side, at that point it becomes 10-8 and they've each got one disc left. But you know, the having your opponent's disc in the 10 is almost the same kind of blinders as mm-hmm. having yourself in the kitchen. Yep. It's so hard to let it stay there. Mm. You know, even if there's a better shot to be made. Yeah. And once again, you know, on that last shot, right, there was no way he was going to stick that 10. Right. So how much easier was just shooting the 8? Yeah. You yeah. know? Here comes Damien with, like, a chance to take, a, you know, put put a, a, you know. A real point on it. Yeah. Yeah. If, oh, oh, it's this thing that he does, this soft clearing <laughs> thing that drives me fucking nuts. <laughs> Language. <laughs> it's a family shuffleboard show. It does, though. It does. I, 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 I don't, don't like, like it. it. I don't like it at all. I think if you're going to clear, you clear. If you're going to like, if you, if you, and particularly if you're up, you're mm-hmm. up 11 points. There's no Just reason for this everything. funny yeah. business. No reason for this funny business. <laughs> now he's going to try to go through here, I think. No, he's going to try to cl- do his version of clearing again, which is this. <laughs> which, which is which is you know so far working you know yeah. but like I, I I personally can't really get with the speed you know but listen he's gotten this far with it it's true he's here he is in the finals yeah what do I know mm, Paul's gonna try again mm, this might be the one Damien might like mm, oh, he's getting no. he's getting coached to clear it from the sidelines nobody better tell tell me much of nothing. Not you. Some, huh? some, somebody says clear to me. I'll be like, screw you. I'm going for my the shot that I want to go for. What is is your oh? <laughs> I mean, you're you, right. You, I see what you're saying. Is, you, He's just like sneezes them off the court, just like you, 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 you. I mean, it, it, yeah. to be fair, there, there is a lot of precision to it, though, right? Yeah, like it's all going those, to exactly the same yeah. spots every time. Yeah, I mean, you got to give it to him in that way. It's just, um, know, it, just it just feels okay. like there's room for error. I mean, maybe the argument there is that it really does he block up the court. Oh, block up the courts. You don't want to block up the courts. Your right, hammer. It's your hammer. But I if mean, it's not your I, hammer, I think I think the argument is probably that it's much easier to adjust to hammer speed now. Except 
No, it's gone too reach. small. <laughs> guys, uh, okay, a, no score. That, the whole that, argument I was that about was to not make would have been a good argument. That boy, was a bad that argument. That would have been a beautiful commentary point of order right there by great. me. It would have been like, so and, smart. And here, here he is shooting his hammer. He's got the speed down he's, perfectly because he's, he's, he's got this. He's done it exactly the same, same time speed, every yes. time. Yeah. That didn't work out for no, me. No, that did not work out. But then I'm just commentating. It didn't work out for Damien, and that's that's the big problem because he could have been up 19 points going mm-hmm. into into frame four, into frame five, excuse me, and instead they're up by 11. Bob going a little bit deeper. Yeah, and and he's getting coached to to play for his hammer, which means clearing and scoring. Mm-hmm. All right, let's. I, I, you know, obviously, I, I enjoy a, a clearing, clear. a clearing game when the time is right. And mm-hmm. right now, if you're up by eleven and you have a chance you to score your hammer, you playing defense. Just you can clear. And you can clear. Can, yep. Mm-hmm. Gets off far right, enough. Yep. Right. Keep. Don't leave any room for error. And just take your one score at the end. Yeah, and even if you miss it, you're still up eleven. Yeah, you know, like the the fact is that they're in they're in they're still in very very good shape. Oh, <gasps> and it's the third that's, time of the charm. There's the whiff. Yeah, that's you know, and that's so many times we see that where you're on autopilot because you know your plan is just clear, clear, clear. So you don't take the minute to really line up. You're the just other like, problem oh, is clear. like if you're if you're afraid of sticking. Mm. And Bob's, oh, Bob wound up on the other side. Mm-hmm. He never got it quite far it didn't enough get it over. over. But it's still a good eight. It's mm-hmm. a good eight, but Bardo's got a clean shot at this. Sticks yeah. it. Yeah. Big shot. Beautiful Big shot. shot for Bardo. And that's a chunk, which I believe is the NBA, the shuffleboard equivalent of a dunk. Okay. <laughs> that's exactly the response you had. Yeah, Last I time I tried to float this idea, it's a chunk. Is it a chunk or a chunk? Chunk, a chunk. You said chunk. Chunk. You're a chunk. It's a chunk. You're a chunk. <laughs> chunk with an O. It's like a dunk. <laughs> Would that be a U then? Chunk, dunk. Yeah, but it, this, but the sound it makes is a chunk. That's why originally I tried to float it as a swish. But I feel like a swish is when you just land something beautifully in would between that, stuff. Wouldn't that be a chish? <laughs> I think it would be a shish. Oh. Um, and, and now we're starting to see the mm-hmm. nerves coming out on everybody, right? You know it's, getting, it's getting late in the match yeah. already. And yeah. we see Bardo missing a, an important clear. We see Paul missing an important clear. And now Damien's it's a matter of who's going to be able to like, hide in there. Yes. take advantage of those mistakes. Mm-hmm. And, and Damien has done so. And... I think Paul doesn't really have much of a choice. He's got to go for this, but he can only that that disc is a little bit in the way. It might it might not be completely in the way, but it's going to be a hard shot. You got it. Oh, beautiful. Yep. Um, I'd like to just revise and say that I think it should be called the shunk. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> and a shish. Yes. Oh boy. <gasps> Damien oh. giving points, and, and that's the one thing that you can't have if yeah. you're Damien. You can't be giving away points mm-hmm. right there. You're up 19 going into this. You gotta hold it's, on. It's, it's just a double score that you yeah. can't allow, and and that's what that's what he's given the Paul the opportunity for here. Paul's gonna give it a nice. Oh, okay. Damien can still and now, see it. Now there's there's a couple options. The other thing you can do here would be a, a block. I think he's, he's going to try to take he's gonna it. Try to t- he's going to make up for that. Oh. Wow. And he just and pushed it, it to the other side. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And now, you know, could take Paul's hammer. Okay. So he, got, he doesn't so, shunk gotcha. it. <laughs> I see. So he rolled in there. Sorry. T- Teddy Waffles blocked my view. I, ah. I didn't see that. I, I thought he, he went and pushed the yellow into the other side. I was mixed up. Yeah, All right, God's got gets it, out. it out, but like stole his hammer and left and didn't leave any points on the board, which was really important. 
yeah, Dam- Damien did everything he needed to do there. I, I think he got a little bit lucky, mm-hmm. um, but it worked out, and it's a 19-point game with two frames to play. I don't know if the Biscuiteers can pull pull back from that. I mean, I believe that they can. I've seen this team do some incredible things. Well, at least some of it's going to need to come from Bob right now because he's got his la- the Biscuiteers' last hammer of the game, mm-hmm. and and uh, you know hopefully he's not clearing here and he's yeah, gonna go I'm just going to get on the board. Oh no, I think he's 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 planning to clear. I don't think he would do that to me. Just made a clearing face. It's a poor choice. Yeah. You're down 19. Yeah. And I think he, he asked Paul, should I clear? And Paul was like, oh, I guess. That's why you don't take advice from people on shuffleboard. <laughs> sure. Okay. Just use all your... Bardo's and Bardo's just going like, to block yeah, up. Want, He's going to... Sure. Want, why don't we do this three times more? Mm-hmm. We, could, we could definitely... If you want, you can use your hammer to clear me too. <laughs> yeah. But why? 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 I mean, I guess he's thinking if I can score one, no, he needs a lot more than that. Yeah, that's the thing, right? They don't have the hammer in the last yeah. round. Like, the, like if he yeah. scores the one, they're going to be down 11 Yeah, with, he's gotta be without thinking, the hammer in the last right. frame. So you're right. When's it time to go on the board, if not now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Wow. All right. All you've, right. you've done it. You've gotten three of the discs off the board. Yeah. I love Bob. I've seen Bob play very, very well, but this, this is just not, this a, good is, ma- this is is not, not a good frame. This is, this is, this n- yeah. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and great. Let Bob try to hit, hit, hit one. Hit yeah. One. But one's can, not going to do it. Yeah, exactly. still on the line and so all that work and it did not pay off and he didn't it, even get the one out of it more no. or less the two that he needed yeah that's, it's a 19 that's point a, lead for the for the SPF not what you want to see and now now paul has to somehow score two i mean the, the problem is like it's not Damien if, off the board. If, if if at least bob is able to score one there then it becomes it gets, like yeah, a realistic thing yeah. to ask of well, your partner there's a big difference between 19 and 18 even yeah Right, 19, it would need to be like, it would need to be like 10 to Kitchen for the 20 points, but there's no 19 point shot. Mm -hmm. There's an 18 point shot, which now isn't gonna get it done. Yeah. And Paul's got to get on Paul, the board. I mean, I, 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 if he was going for a 10 there, I like it. If he was going for a block, I don't. And Damien's, oh, Damien's okay. just going to keep everybody Damien off. Damien is going to oh, but actually still Dave, shoot at some yeah. sort of speed You're that right. I he do not understand. He needs to be shooting a lot harder. He's a young guy. Yeah. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's got dark jeans on, for God's sake. <laughs> That's, shoot, you know, he's cool. Thing. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, that those, are, those are some power jeans. Oh, power he jeans. Needs, he just needs to be playing a power game in those jeans. <laughs> There it is. I, I, okay. okay, so that that disc I like a lot from Paul because he's down do twenty and this crazy is here. if if Damien but Damien sticks if yeah. Damien sticks oh Which my god might. oh no you are <laughs> not going to be happy I'm, with I'm those gonna power jeans I'm, I'm going to start calling it Damien speed. <laughs> uh, it's an eight. I don't I mean, think you clear. Now what you do is you push off because there's no, no mm. right? Doesn't matter anyway. There, 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 right, because no, even Paul's going to yeah, try to kitchen is not going to get anything dead, done. Yeah. Right, there's nothing there. Yeah. <laughs> Classic Damien, a drop to the knee. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, you, know, you like uh, you like Paul going for the kitchen there at the end, um, and, and, and Damien will pull just up, push, push off. off. <laughs> and nail clang the column. It, clang it, <laughs> clang it, it on the column. Perfect nail of the column there, and and, and uh, so there you go. So SPF forty fives take that first match. We'll take a second here. Like hmm. what, what we're in the finals. What what was the story of that game to you? Mm. I don't remember. It all happened so fast. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you've had enough of this whole thing, haven't you? <laughs> to me, to, to me, what we saw was, um, 
you know, a, a nice performance by the FPFs who played well with a lead. Mm -hmm. You know, um, obviously there were there were four really nice um, performances off of the first two frames mm -hmm. where everybody scored their hammer. Oh, I just remembered some of the things. So I oh, fantastic! <laughs> what, 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 One, what did you see? Uh, there were, I mean, there were a couple of mistakes on Bob's part. You know, he didn't, he, there was the 10 and he just wasted a disc trying to clear it versus scoring and just kind of minimizing the damage. And then playing a clearing game when you really needed to be on offense, which is just, you know, hard to remember to do in the thick of it. Yeah, yeah. So I think, you know, it was it was uh, very much the SPS playing well with the lead and it was the Biscuiteers having a hard time coming back. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's see what happens in game two. Okay. Okay guys, welcome to the what may possibly be the last and final round. We have the FPF 25 shooting yellow, and we have the Biscuiteers shooting black. Good luck guys. Love me some Nibsy Hustle. I know you do. You know I do. Who doesn't? Yeah. Okay, right. Papa shooting for the SPFs. Eric Papa. Also a Papa. Also a Papa. Sadie is his daughter. Oh. She's super cute. And we got Smooth Susan. Smooth shooting Susan. For, uh, mm. And, and beautifully, clear. somehow, like, once again, rolls herself into a perfect Tampa. Yeah. You know what? Things go right for Susan. She's lucky. It, she, she's lucky and she's good. Right. People some make Susans their own are mind. lazy and some Susans are lucky. Mm. Love the shot from Papa mm -hmm. playing a, a really cerebral game here, knowing that it's not his hammer his job here is still just to block up so he takes away the alley on mm. her side and i think he'll she, probably do it one more time yeah and she's done some work for him she meant to clear that block and instead she stuck and blocked up the board some more you put that right between there and it completely cuts down mm. the board and really that's nice. exactly what papa did yeah. there's no going through there mm -mm. and, um, and if, she looks like she's gonna still try to clear i, I don't i don't know I feel like, yeah. yeah. Oh. And now she's blocked up her the other side of the board. I think if Papa puts up one more in between she's those gonna two. She's going to be in trouble. There's, there's nowhere to shoot to. Got a bump on the 10 or something. It is, it is a beautiful, wow. beautifully what? played frame by Papa. Look really at that. nice. Nowhere to go. Uh, gosh, it's, it's, it's extraordinarily beautiful strategic play by mm -hmm. Papa. Yeah. Not, nothing to do. Maybe, a, I guess it's a bump. It's got to be a bump. There's, there's nowhere to go. It's a reverse pepperoni. Yeah. She's gonna go for a hard... <gasps> oh boy. Oh! oh. Well, that could have gone really had... <laughs> right and really wrong. Yeah. And in the end, uh, they came up empty. No harm, no foul on the first frame. A little bit of harm. I mean, a little bit of harm, but could have been a lot more harm, could have been a lot more foul. Yeah, well, um, good on Papa. He, he he played a really really nice frame mm -hmm. there to 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 you know when she moved over and basically rolled his St. Pete into a Tampa rather than taking that out. Yeah, he, he blocked used up it. the board. Mm -hmm. You know, it was it was a really nice strategic play. I like it. Okay, now we have Buka shooting for the SPFs in his own power jeans. Yeah, and Steve, Susan's husband, playing for the Biscuiteers. And the shiny New Balances. And um, pink Royal Palms Flamingo wallpaper socks, which you can't see, but trust me, they're under there. More clearing by Buka. Yeah, just eye on the prize here as well. Interesting. Steve going on the board. I don't mind it. I mean, it's... it's it's not a great play because there's room. I would have, if he's going to do that, I'd prefer him to do it on the other side where Buka couldn't curl behind this, you know, because there's a way that he could. It's going to do there. Oh. Puts him in the kitchen. Wow. Puts him in the kitchen and, and it's blocked. And puts him on notice. Wow. You know what I mean? So like, you want to go on the board? Like I'm you're going to do that to you. me? Yeah. You, like you don't go on the board against me. And the very first chance he had. Yeah. Against Steve. Steve said, hey, you, let's play a little bit. And Buka said, you want to play? We'll play. <laughs> you want to play? We'll play. Exactly. Like that. Let's see, where's he going to go here? <gasps> no. Oh, and did he give him points? I think he did. I think that's a high eight. Yeah. Just one or two? Yeah, that's it. Minus 10, eight. 
So two, two on the board. P- Puka held up a one, but he, should, he meant two. In Papa. Sorry, Papa p- held up a one, but he meant a two. And it's a high eight. And, and, and he got that high eight. Mm-hmm. So at this point... That's, that's really nice by Steve. Really like, good nice. Good for him. Yeah. Right? It's a little bit scary to try and knock out that eight because you don't want to knock out the uh, the kitchen as well. Or put, your, or put your yellow in the kitchen. There's a lot right. that could go wrong here. It seems like maybe the right thing to do is just Score shoot an eight to the, on other, the other side. side. Yeah, there's there's no there's no substitute in that eight. Looks like that's, that's what, what he's going to try do. to do. He gets and there. He gets there. Wow, really nice, really nice. and very smart. It's he smart. He knew he wasn't going to be able to replace that eight and stick. He said, "Let me just neutralize it." Smart strategic play by Buka. Yeah, really and, smart. And we're seeing it out of the SPF 45s in general. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um, all these guys. Um, you know, obviously, I, maybe I've got a little problem with the Damien speed, but but beyond that, we're seeing really, really smart play by the SPF well, 45s, and you can see why they're a championship team. When I interviewed them before the game, I you know I talked to Damien about what they'd been doing in the off season. And he said we couldn't play. But we read our Von Schuler, we read our Floyd Swem, we, you know, that. we, we um, studied Carl strategy. Carl Von Schuler, the author of Let's All Play Shuffleboard. For um, fun, for health, for... <laughs> I think it's fun for exercise, for health, for fun. Something like that. Yeah. Um, and, and, of course, Floyd Swem, um, Shuffleboard, those capricious discs. The preeminent to, tome. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Um, <laughs> it's the preeminent tome. Um, great shuffleboard books. And didn't we have, did Carl von Schuller's grandchildren come play at the club? No, Larry Ferris's. Oh, did. Larry Ferris's. Um, Larry Ferris, another incredible author. Yeah. Um, and, and just recently passed away. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, um, got to hang a little bit with Larry Ferris's family in uh, in Lakeside, Ohio. Um this past summer, or not oh. this summer, but the summer before, and and um, no, it was this past summer actually, mm. and uh, and they're wonderful people as well. Okay, Susan's on with an eight. Papa's going to answer. Mm. Oh, that was that was that kitchen was speed, though, wasn't it? Yeah, They're playing some playing some games here. These folks go on the board against the SPS. They they could wind up in in a in a world of hurt, and and Book has already shown that he can hit that shot. Mm-hmm. And, and I can tell you from experience, Papa can too. So Susan's trying to figure out where to go here. There's six points down. She's going uh, into the seven. Oh boy. Huh. And that could just be an easier replace. I don't know if he needs to kitchen it. It's a it's a beautiful it's a beautiful sped. I, I love the speed of that shot. It's it was definition kitchen speed plus, right? If if for some reason he misses that and he winds up to the edge or something like mm-hmm. that, it's got a chance to kitchen. If he hits it flat, it's gonna go past the kitchen. And uh it's beautiful play by Papa. You know, these SPS are really impressing me. Well, I'm rooting for the biscuitiers to stay in it. You know, they've played so beautifully this entire tournament. Yeah. And, um, and, 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 and you see, uh, we've got, <laughs> we've got the SPS, uh, cheering in the background there. Dancing, doing the, doing the, doing doing the all robot. Kinds of stuff, the robot, yeah. I think, you know what it is? They've got, they've got like a little earbuds in and they are oh, they're like, listening to the immigrant song. That's their, that's their, the Led Zeppelin song. Hammer right. of the gods. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's an interesting one. That, that might be Buka's first mistake, right? Because that, that Steve that, knows to take that shot. Yeah, Steve's, I think Steve's going to take it. And, and we've seen Steve hit this shot before. Oh, it's a little hard. Too mm-hmm. hard. Mm-hmm. And he went right through. Oh, okay. Well, right through is better and, than and, sticking and if in you're the Buka kitchen. Here, you wonder if maybe the shot isn't the high, but instead is the block. It's very mm-hmm. aggressive. Oh, no. He's. Yeah, he didn't um, get there. If you would have blocked up on the other Steve's side. side instead, you're up 17 already. Yeah. You, you don't give him need a chance that shot. to just land it. And and I think this time this Steve's time, got it. Yep. Yeah, see. He'll take that seven inch back. It's still early enough in the game that you're totally. right. You can't yeah. get greedy. There, there was no reason to do that up mm-hmm. 17. I think that, that that was a mistake by Buka, like being too aggressive yeah. when he could have blocked down the board. You know, it was, it was a couple of things. Number one, it was putting up the bad um, mm-hmm. Tampa or St. Peter or whatever it was he was right, going it was for. Like, yeah, it helped and everybody. And number two, 
it was it was knowing you know thinking that he was going to hide behind it mm -hmm. it was almost uh tampa blinders is what he had on mm. we call those sunglasses oh yeah And I don't know if uh, Susan means to do it or not, but I like the play. She's down 17. You know, she's on the board. done, actually, she's done oh, she's this done, sort of thing 10. before, yeah. where she's like, it's kind of a dangerous spot for a disc because you can't really go anywhere without messing with it. Oh. oh. Now, can she double it? You know, you, 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 this reminds you a little bit of her match against Paul, where she yeah. seemed to be sort Come of on. like outclassed oh. a little bit. I think she got one. She got one. And it's going to be hard to knock it out. Yeah. Um, and, and, and she's confounded a bunch of really, really more experienced players. Smooth by, Susan. By Smooth Susan just getting on the board, and, and they've been whiffing. Oh, mm. but the Papa was very, very lucky to put that on the line. Yeah. And now... The problem is, like, does Susan have the skill for this shot? This is not an easy double. She's made some incredible shots in totally. this tournament. Yeah, like, can, can she hit this one? This is this would be the 15 points that yeah. she really, really needs right now. See, she, her, her, but she does play it's, a finesse oh, game, you know? It's not bad. Ooh, uh, it's a little short. And it's on the line. Okay, but it's set up in a nice way. Uh, and you wonder if this pop a block here. Yeah, I think he that's what he's going to do. He's saying, I don't want you there. to get to it's it. It's beautiful. Yep. It's a yeah. beautiful block. I don't think, she, can she go between she those? She might try. She's made these kind of crazy in-between slide them and get them shots before. She's sort of fearless. No. Mm, didn't work this time. Yeah. And, Didn't and, work this and time. good on Papa for blocking up that board, for yeah. making that really important block because there was doubles all over that oh, thing. Oh, yeah. There was he, splits, right. there was doubles, and there was said, everything. And he said, I'm not going to try to clear it and accidentally give her points. I'm just going to keep her from playing. Right. Mm -hmm. And now and now what you see is you've got two hammers for the SPF 45s. They're up, up 10. 10 already. Mm -hmm. Should they score even one of these hammers, it it's could mean be lights difficult. out. Yeah. Yeah. And remember, they've won the first game. So if they win this, the Biscuitiers go home. Yeah. And the SPFs take the championship. Yeah, and, and, and they're talking about whether he wants to use it or whether he wants to clear it. And, and I think, oh. oh. And, and, uh, <laughs> huh. and, and where is Steve going now? If you're Steve, I mean, you think that he'd get on the board on He's his side. He's got to get on the board. He's trying to figure it out. I mean, he is. Only, he's going to take. Yeah, he's going to take it from yeah, the outside. It's, it's, he's, they're it's not out early. of it, you know? No, they're definitely not out of it. And that's a good shot. Look at that. It's mm, a beautiful, beautiful shot by Steve. Hide. Really, really nice. Mm. Mm. Oh. That's trouble. Yeah. Because that now it's a perfect Tampa. Right now it's now it's just right I mean, for Steve. Steve can just go hide again. Yeah, you put another one back there. Press your luck. Why not? Yeah. But, but will he do? I think he might be a little bit afraid to uh, to is, knock his out. But I don't think. What else can you do, really? You, you know. Oh, he's you could, going the other way. He could block. He's blocking the other side down. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not a great block. It doesn't. See, if that disc was another three or four inches over, it would take up. A lot or more space, for you know. There isn't, mm -hmm. there isn't a need for that to be that close yeah. to the yellow disc. I think he just at the last minute decided that blocking was the right thing to do. Ooh, Ooh Buka almost put him in. Wow. Okay. One more chance to hide here. Well, at a block, at a I would block. imagine. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. Mm. Little, little over. I think that'll do it. And you know what? It, it does a really nice job of blocking down the board for Bu on Buka too. Mm -hmm. You know, I think what you got to do is just shoot to Steve's side here and land the eight, land right. the eight and or land the seven. The, the, Don't worry about roll. knocking it out. You know, Steve, oh, I see. Don't even try to knock it out. Just try to score. Yeah, you just score an eight. Yeah.
Did he get there? Uh, he didn't. No. And Steve makes a huge, huge it's indentation into this steel. lead. Yeah, he, he, huge. He, he didn't just steal the hammer, scored eight on Buka's hammer. Huge. Really surprising. That yeah. was. And now it's a two point game. Yeah. And wow. And the Biscuitiers are still alive. So many of these matches, it feels like, have come down to poor pilots put up by their own teams, right? Like, the, the one thing you can't do is give the other team a pilot. Right. Right? right. If Buka just puts that disc a far enough bit outside, mm -hmm. shoot a St. Pete, shoot a wide St. Pete. Yeah. What are you messing around for? I guess, you know what, I'm sorry, it, it wasn't, it, it was it was Steve that managed to... to Give himself a tampon. To do that, and then it was it was Buka's miss, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. It was Buka's whiff that did that, but Steve took advantage of it. Good on him. Yeah. Eric's just clearing now. See, and, and, Eric, and, and Papa, what he's thinking right now is like, all I gotta do is score my hammer. Just keep Whether everything it's a seven off the or board. it's an eight, I'm gonna be mm -hmm. up, but we're gonna be up by yep. nine, yep. right? going into this last frame let steve steve can hit a 10 to tie or win the game good for him oh boy oh oh and and susan's gotten on the board here so she's papa she, got very greedy there yeah it was, it was a surprising and susan's yeah she's um yeah yeah, it's important that they stay in the box, it's true. And, and we saw that, you know, Susan Susan doesn't like them both in the box sometimes. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Oh, yeah. no. And it's, it's, a, oh, it's a disaster no. for Susan. That is a disaster. Ugh. And Pop is going to block it up. Mm -hmm. Not going to make it easy to knock it out. No, she's going to, you know, she might be able to make some magic happen with his, that disc sitting there on the seven because i think trying to knock hers out is not going to do oh, it she oh, almost had it that would have been great and now all papa's really got to do is just take out this seven and it's it's going to be pretty much game over Ooh, almost knocks his own into the kitchen but he didn't and now it's a 12 point lead steve's got the hammer 15 to 3. Steve's got the hammer, but he needs a double score here. Okay. Not, not impossible. Not impossible. Not easy, but certainly not impossible. But I think, you know, this is where you'll see Buka push off. And there it is. And Steve comes up mm. short. If you're Buka, I don't think you even clear. I think you block up your side. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, he's blocking. Yeah. Here, I mean. uh, I meant block up the yeah, other yeah. side, but Good. whichever it is, the fact is that Steve Steve's needs to get, get on the board. On board. And he does. Yeah. Now really. he's got to hope for a mistake from Buka. Buka, you know. Buka stuck. Mm. Okay, Steve. All right. Steve needs a kitchen Let's here. See if Steve can get Boy, this Boy, does done. he need the kitchen. This is, this is a huge shot for Steve. Can he pull a kitchen here? Can he do it? Just comes up oh. short. But it'll make it'll make Buka shoot. Yeah, and then he can't knock both of those out. All he needs to do is knock out the eight. Well. Yeah, you're if right. He knocks you know? out the eight and he, he takes the, the seven and, and puts him in the kitchen, he would win. We still need to stick though too. But that's what I'm saying. There's still enough room there to stick and hit the seven in a miracle shot. You're thinking of, uh, you like this out of Buka, right? He's figuring out all the math of this. It's a mm -hmm. 12 point lead. Mm hmm. Yeah, you take yeah. the black off take and. Take the and black off and make him make shoot him, and stick. Sh make him shoot and stick on kitchen. Right. Make him make the miracle shot. Otherwise. Yeah. Okay. Like and now it's just down to Steve's last and, shot. And here. the, the, the mm. problem here, the Such angle here, is pressure. really, really hard. Yeah. You know, he's so close to the line there. Yep. That like it's going to take a really special shot to kitchen and stick, and that's Su what he needs. Susan's moved off. She's moved off to to <laughs> cheer from behind. Okay. Oh. oh. Wow. wow. That was
was really Gosh. close by Steve. Gosh, Steve had was the that right line. Did it you was see everything. that? It was perfect. It just didn't quite Look where the seven there. wound up. I know. It like wound up in. He really got the right line on it. He, he did he the gives whole it. thing. It was just like needed an inch, an inch more. Yeah. No, it, was, it, it, it wasn't much. No. And really brought it in close. Um, you wow. know what? The SPS played it really, really well. Um, in the end, yeah, two straight sets. Yep, and 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 they're they're great skillsmen, and they're also great strategists. And they're great sportsmen. Yeah, yeah, no. and women, sports women. It, it's um, it was a great it was a great match by the SPS. And, and we're yeah. glad to see them win it too. We love the we love both of these teams. We're so happy to see them both make it this far. And I'm excited to hear what they have to say. Go down there and give them some congratulatory remarks. All right, yeah. I'm going to talk to the Biscuiteers first and then go talk to the champions. All right, everybody. I'm here with the Biscuiteers. An incredible performance. You made it all the way to the very end. Um, so again. proud of you. Again, indeed, again. Um, tell, me about, tell me about the tournament um, it, it, for you. What, what, did it, what did it mean to you? Look, I mean, we come into this thing with, with pretty much limited expectations and, and just come in to play and have a good time and see what happens and try to make the most of other people's mistakes and minimize our own and have a good time. And, yeah. and we did that and we rode it all the way to the end. Yeah. It, it was, it, you guys were up against uh, the SPF 45s. What did you think of their, their play? I know them yeah. because they come and practice a lot when they're before the pandemic yeah. and um, they totally intimidated me I knew I was gonna be <laughs> up against Eric who's like you know the sweetest guy in the world but like an, a wicked player <laughs> and um, so I was shaking a little bit and you might have noticed that I was shaking a little bit and I kind of messed up some shots but um, I'm, I'm actually glad we didn't go into like double death overtime because I'm kind of exhausted after all these <laughs> matches. I, I'm old. I'm probably like twice the age of everybody else who's been in this whole tournament. So <laughs> I need my beauty rest. Yeah, it, it, it is really nice to, to have uh, some some diversity in, in terms of generational diversity here in the tournament. And uh, you guys are, are are able to move so smoothly through through the generations and through the social circles in this league. And and the, to have the Biscuiteers here at the end really just means the world to us so so thank you for being a part of it we have for you second place prize is is a particularly nice one it is my special quarantine sourdough yes please take it on behalf of the team steve um it was it was so good to have you guys here really really proud of your performance and we can't wait to see you again yeah, so yeah. we're looking for yeah. so fun. it was great we yeah. love playing shuffleboard so <laughs> the, the more chances you give us the more we'll take excellent any final words paul just hats off to to uh SBI. Yeah, they were a terrific team and uh, very disciplined. Love those guys and really love this whole place. Thanks a lot for doing that. Thanks, guys. A big round of applause for second place. It's the Biscuiteers, everybody. <laughs> and now, a tango by the Biscuiteers, Steve and Susan. here with the SPF 45s, the 27th champion of the Royal Palms Brooklyn. Um, why don't we start with Buka? Buka, um, what, what did this tournament mean to you? I mean, oh, wow. Uh, that's hard to sum up quickly, but I think just spending time with my boys here and getting it done. We were hot coming into the tournament in the spring. Um, we couldn't wait to get back on the court and uh, Man, yeah, it was just great, really great. Thank Excellent, you. yeah, definitely. Papa, um, obviously a, a, a rock there at the head of the court in, in game two. Um, what, uh, what, what separated you from the field, you know what I mean? What separated the SPFs from the field? You guys went through a bunch of pretty difficult teams. How'd you do it? Yeah, I gotta say, back in January, we just set some goals. We was like, we've never won a division. We we never had tangs, championship tangs. Like, and we we're like, we're gonna stay with this focus, like, all the way to the end. We just happened to have a six month, seventh month, eight month hiatus <laughs> in between us. So it just really required really determined focus. And honestly, my boys, 
my boys. Uh, my <laughs> <Incredibly>. boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of your boys, Damien here, probably maybe the person that practices shuffleboard the most out of anybody in the Royal Palms of Brooklyn, Damien is here on the courts practicing. Damien, can you tell me about Damien's speed? Damien speed on the clears. What is it? What like uh, you were driving me crazy with it, and yet it's it it, it worked for him. I just uh, are you trying for rolls with those things? Are you trying to roll off to the side? Are you like trying to? Is that part of it? Is it also part of it? The idea that you don't want to have to go from super blast speed to to hammer speed, and is 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 that ability to sort of not have to adjust muscle memory part of it as well? Wow, uh, <laughs> I've been thinking about this a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's amazing, Jonathan. Thank you. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, I am trying to roll. I want to make sure that I that I'm not going to hurt myself, right? I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. No, I mean, I mean on the board. Like yeah. I don't want. Um, yeah, but I, I I often try to try to knock a Saint Pete like over my so that my disc ends up on the other side to like give me a block that can maybe go behind. Yeah, yeah. It's an aggressive cool. it's an it's an aggressive move of it moving, an advanced move, and, and we saw you got you pull it off a bunch of times. I was like, what's he doing that for like up nineteen at points? <laughs> but I was like, but but hey, it worked for him and and uh and, and, and it shows the practice shows. Yeah, and the and the muscle memory helps also. Um, Barto, so, some final words. Barto um, um, is is um, is not just an incredible shuffleboard player, but is also a visionary who saw the wisdom of the Royal Palms before we ever opened Royal Palms Brooklyn. Is a partner in the Royal Palms Brooklyn. Is a partner in the Royal Palms Chicago. Um, is is somebody who had the foresight and vision to understand what this place meant. Um, or what it could mean to a community before it ever opened. Um, what has the Royal Palms meant to you, you know, in the last seven years? Uh, in the last seven years, the Royal Palms has meant to me, friends, family, drinking, the occasional, you know, throw me a booth. <laughs> uh, it's been a total blast to be here and be a part of something that's uh, just fun as shit, easy. We can have drinks, we can have strategy, we can do it all. Well, I, I want to thank you for bringing these wonderful people into our world, man. This is this is great. The SPF 45s have been there from the beginning, and uh, we're we're so thankful to have you. I think it's time to bring out the trophy. Oh. Can I say one more thing? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, one more thing. Yeah, please. You can't spell Royal Palms Shuffleboard fucking championships without SPF. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. The SPF 45s. The lovely Ashley Albert bringing in the championship trophy. There it is. The Flamingo Cup, I think, I think maybe all, uh, there it is. Damien's taking it, gorgeous. We're gonna be putting uh, their names on the Flamingo Cup. The SPF 45, I think I see their their, pre their previous championship. Right. Yeah, Buka designed this trophy. There it is. <laughs> Come on close, Ashley. That's it for us. Uh, the SPF 45 taking the first place prize. The Biscuiteers taking the second place prize. We're so thankful for all the teams that competed. Um, you got any final words, Ashley? Thanks so much to everyone for being here. We'll see you back on the courts soon. The Royal Palms is going nowhere. We will be back once this is all over and we can't wait to shuffle with you. Well, that is a wrap on our 2020 Shuffle Insanity One Nice Thing Royal Palms League playoff tournament. Yeah, um, it was it was a lot of fun. We're so happy to um, be able to bring all of the teams back into the club for this really, really special um, series. And, and we're so thankful to all the teams that participated. And we are so, so thankful to Teddy Waffles, Kevin Reedy, Trevor Hess, Dan Love, um, who just made this happen. Without them, it wouldn't have been possible. It wouldn't have even been an idea if it wasn't for them. It's true. And we also want to thank Bacardi, our sponsors, um, for helping to make this happen. Um, we really, really appreciate all you folks over there. It was such a gift to have all of these teams back here in the club and thank you so much for sticking with us and taking this crazy shuffleboard journey. We look so forward to seeing you on the course again soon. See you at Royal Palms. Keep shuffling. Keep shuffling.